Hey friends, hi! Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video by me, Jess Cutleo. So glad to have you here. As always, thank you so much for choosing me over and over again. Now, I was thinking about this concept a couple of days ago where I was thinking we're drawing towards the end of the year and I'm sure a lot of you are thinking about, oh, maybe in 2023, I want to start being a content creator. I want to maybe create content. Like I can see a lot of people are doing it now. And firstly, before I go far, be a content creator. If that's what you want to do, be a content creator. Don't let anything or anyone stop you, okay? That's the first thing that I wanted to say. But I thought about this video and I thought, you know, the one thing good sis could do, the one big thing good sis could do was tell you or inform you of what to look out for. The challenges and the struggles that come with being a content creator. Now, these are the things that you don't see behind the scenes, okay? These are the things that are behind the scenes. This is just the hard part of being a content creator. You guys see this and you think, oh my God, she's got it on lock. Oh my God, blah, blah, blah. You don't see the, I'm tired. You don't see the, I really don't feel like doing it today. You don't see the pressure and the stress that comes with working with brands and doing campaigns and uh, wanting to make sure that your content is crisp and it's clean and the quality of the content is great. Those are things that happen as a content creator. They are huge things and things that we need to look out for. So if you're somebody who's new to the content creation space, your numbers are quite low you haven't experienced some of these things yet, or you're looking to become a content creator in 2023, you might want to watch this video, okay? Check it out, please. Let's get into the video. Again, thank you so much for choosing me. Let's get into the video, okay? The first things first. You know me, I always write notes down because I like to formulate my thoughts beforehand so that I know exactly what to say and I have some sort of direction. I don't like to go all over the place. I like to hit straight and to the point and that's what we're going to do now. So, so the first point is sometimes, a lot of the times, you're just not going to feel like doing it. You're really not. We can churn out three, four videos a week, okay? But the reality is sometimes you just don't want to do it. Sometimes you just don't want to sit in this seat. You just don't want to uh, attend events. You just don't want to do it. You just want time to yourself. But being a content creator means consistency. This is one of the biggest things and I've always spoken about this on my channel. I've always said you have to be consistent if you want to be a good content creator who becomes influential, right? You have to show the people who are going to watch you that they that you appreciate them being there and this means being consistent and it's not just on one platform this is the reality about it right it's not just on one platform if you're going to be a content creator you're going to want to get your name out there and the only way you can do that is by what tapping into every single social platform that is available and this is harder than you think it is, but we'll get into that a little bit later on in the video. So sometimes you just wake up and you don't feel like doing it. You wake up, you're feeling ill, you're waking up and your anxiety is on 1000. You feel like I'm just not in the mood or the space to actually produce content. You have dark days as a content creator. And sometimes there's also burnout. You just don't feel like doing it because you don't know what you're going to film. You don't know what reel you're going to do today. You don't know, like it's just, it's a lot, right? And it's a really, really difficult part about being a content creator because as much as you love what you do, there are days where you just don't feel like doing it. And this applies to any job. This applies to any job. I don't think there is one person who can wake up and say, I love doing my job and I woke up and I did my job every day with the same chutzpah and the same passion and the same ambition. No, nah. some days you just feel like, and you need to allow yourself that. You just don't feel like doing it and you can take the break. But on days where you're ready and you're within, and you, if you have like large periods of time where you're ready, you will then capitalize on that and create the content. Have it sitting on your laptop, have it sitting on your SD card, it doesn't matter. As long as it's there, 
capitalize and create the content but yes the first point is sometimes you really just don't feel like doing it you really don't this one's not going to be an easy one for a lot of you to swallow because this is the dark side of being a content creator making money as a content creator does not come easy it's basically you being a freelancer so you have to kind of put yourself out there so that you can potentially get gigs and campaigns and not only that even on youtube i think people think i can't tell you how many times i've gone out and someone has recognized me and they said you know i'm thinking of starting a youtube channel there's money in youtube ne? and i'm just like <laughs> There is, there is, once you breach a certain threshold, once you, you know, you, 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 you get your ducks aligned and the algorithm works for you and all of this, there are some people who get lucky enough that they do one video and they skyrocket, right? They get viral and from there on out, they start making buku's amounts of money. There are some people who have beauty on their side. There are some people who have, you know, who tap into certain things that... A lot of us just, we're just normal people, okay, you know? Uh, we don't have these crazy talents or things like that. So it's harder for the majority of us to get recognized and to make money on social media platforms. That's why, as a content creator, we rely on the power that is you. And you, I mean you, watching this right now. You are subscribed, you follow the channel, you follow me on Instagram as well, maybe even TikTok. I'm not that big on TikTok, but we'll get into that. Maybe you subscribe, you follow the channel, all of this. You are a member, and if you are a member, thank you so much. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much. Um, but I rely on you as a content creator. If I need to get my name out there, I rely on the reposts and the retweets and the shares and the likes. That's why a lot of the time a content creator will say, let's try and get this video to over a thousand likes. And then if they've got bigger numbers, they'll say, let's try and get this video to over 5,000 likes. If I get more than 10,000 likes, I'll do this, you know? The reason being is because it propels you in the algorithm. It puts your name out there even more. So your channel then gets recommended more often in other people's channels, other people's spaces. You might be watching ZZ, okay? You might be watching Sitati, you might be watching... And then... Suddenly you see, oh my gosh, Katla is recommending. Who is this girl? Who is she? Let me click. And then you see that, oh my gosh, I actually like her content. That's how it works. So when we ask you to like the video, we're not just saying, ah, but when guys are first, I like the video. No, we really would like you to like the video so that it propels us as the content creator to get recognized so that in turn, we make a money so that in turn, we continue creating content because there is money involved in content creation and it's not cheap, okay? And we would like to see the rewards as well and you hold that power as a subscriber, as a follower, as, um, you know, even on Instagram, all these other platforms, you hold the power to actually propel your favorite content creator. You really do. You're going to have to work really, really hard to start making even a smidgen of a money, especially on this particular this particular platform is harder than you think. And YouTube Pella, YouTube it's your boss. YouTube it's your boss because they also take a percentage of your earnings. So, but making money on social media, and these are some of the challenges that we have as content creators because you get to a point where you feel despondent and you feel tired and you feel like I work my butt off to create three, four videos a week. And, you know, a video will have over 6,000 uh, views in one day in one day but then have only 500 likes and it's just like but guys <laughs> so please support your content creators your favorite content creators please support them don't be like i ain't gonna give you my like if i don't want to give you my like it's free dog like honestly i couldn't eat i couldn't eat unless well hey will be unless that one i can't do anything about it the next thing that you don't know about content creation especially when it comes to certain types of content and working with uh brands as well doing campaigns you write a lot you write scripts you read scripts you read briefs and you have to commit to what is being told for you to do especially when it comes to campaigns but when it comes to your content um, I'll use myself here as an example a lot of my content is 
hard hitting content right i talk about mental health i talk about a uh, high functioning depression and i talk about things like how that you know how to recognize that somebody might be struggling with a certain mental health whatever it may be these things are not things that i suck out from the top of my head while i'm sitting here and recording i actually think about it beforehand and i write it down this is something you need to consider, especially if you're going to get into content creation in 2023. Write things down because then it takes away from you digressing and then talking about something completely different and then adding this, which is unnecessary, and then doing this, which is very unnecessary. It takes away from all those things. Just write it down. And if you can write it down, it formulates your thoughts. You focal, you focal point, Katel. You focalize your thoughts as to what direction you want that video to take, right? So it's we write a lot as content creators, whether you're doing short form or long form content. Um, short form is things like TikToks, YouTube Shorts, uh, things like Instagram Reels. If you're going to be talking in those, especially if it's paid work, if it's campaign work, there's certain things that you need to say. And they need to come out in that one minute long video. So you need to actually, f you need to formulate phrase, make sure that you mention everything, make sure da, 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 or else you're going to hit some potholes, chat. Okay, so you need to make sure that you do things like that because it's really, really important. Even with your own content, you don't want to seem like somebody who thumb sucks, especially when you're doing really, really, um, you know, a, a, a word information research intense topics. When you're talking about things like that, where you have qualified people who could be potentially be watching you, it's really important to actually do the work and then write things down. And that's a challenge because sometimes you just want to switch the camera on, bro. You just want to switch the camera on and then go, but you can't. With certain videos, you just can't. With certain campaigns, posts, things like that, you just can't. So also take that into cognizance when you watch your favorite content creators that there's a lot more work that's gone into what you are watching in these sit-down videos. Um, if I'm doing a book review, I need to know and remind myself or if I'm doing books that I haven't read, but it's like a TBR, I need to know what the storyline is. I need to know the synopsis of the... So for that, I need to read and write some things down. So yeah, lots of scripts, lots of writing, lots of briefs. It happens. It happens. I had to write down a brief just this morning for a campaign that I'm doing. So... You have to be your biggest hype man. If you're going to expect just your followers or just your friends or just your family or whatever to be your biggest hype men and you can't hype yourself up you're gonna reach trouble you're gonna reach trouble because if you can't hype yourself up if you can't gas yourself up like yo oh, today i'm gonna make it today 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 today, today can nah, can nah. this is dope this content is dope this reel is fantastic if you don't hype yourself up you're gonna reach a lot of breaks obstacles um because at some point it as much as your followers love you and your subscribers love you uh, as a content creator uh you need to love what you do this is this is the truth about it you need to love what you do and if you don't love what you do you're going to add you're going to enter into a lot of blocks along the way obstacles along the way you're going to take months off of the social platform that you're well known for or youtube or you're going to take months off you're going to take sometimes you need those months you know maybe it's a mental health break there's a particular reason or it's health related family related um you just don't feel like doing it and you need a break because you're burnt out sure but for most of the time for the most part you do need to absolutely positively hype yourself up because if you can't do that then i can't i had to hype myself up right now to sit here and record i was just like well i was actually gonna do the campaign work only today and do a couple of reels but my camera's up my face is done come on baby come 
on, baby. Come on, come on. And then I can reward myself by taking myself out to lunch afterwards or whatever. You have to hype yourself up and you have to, you know, that thing where you are, you reward yourself for doing something. So always have something that you can reward yourself for, especially after you create content because then you look forward to it. You look forward to, oh, I can't wait until I'm done. I can't wait until I'm done. Okay. But you have to be your biggest hype man. Sarah, I call you it. Please. This one I think you've all heard and you've heard it to death. It'll be tough. It's not going to be easy. If you thought that content creation is easy, you've got another thing coming. Okay? Um, one of my friends just recently got into content creation. And she realized. And I told her, I said to her, once you do it, you got to be consistent. You got to be this. You got to do this. You got to do this. And she's like, yeah, yeah, no, no, definitely, definitely. I hear you. I hear you. Definitely, definitely. And I said to her, you got to do it, but it's very rewarding. But you, it's a lot of work. It's going to be tough. I think she was doing it for a couple of weeks when she was like, damn, bro. Yo, this is a lot. I was just like, yeah. And, 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 and she was asking, like, how do you... Uh, uh, create all like drop four videos in a week or three videos in a week and I was just like I don't sleep if you follow me on Instagram you will see around 3 4 a.m. I'm awake and not because I forced myself awake my eyes just open and then my brain goes running and because of that I'm just like ah, ah no I can't sleep much so what am I going to do I am going to edit i am going to read i am going to work on my assignment i'm going to do something so it's a lot of work because it's one part of your life outside of every other part of your life your family your relationship your schooling your work nine to five if you have one this all that kind of stuff so it really is hard and then there's editing which takes hours on end guys it's a lot of work okay it's gonna be tough but this leads me to my next point okay it's going to be tough but it's extremely rewarding if there's one thing i love about being in this space especially this particular space is i feel like i do very well with long form content I love sitting, chatting with you, creating a family, um, um, teaching each other things. I read all of your comments. I read all of them. Jokes aside, I might not be able to respond to all of them because you're in a day you'll, you'll be sitting on 150 comments and you're just like, oh, hey, boo, hey, boo, hey, boo, hey, boo. and you just don't have enough time to respond to everything. But the community that gets created and someone tell, sending you a message on Instagram or sending you a message on, on, on Twitter, whatever it is, a DM to say, you know what, Katlo, thank you. Like, I honestly want to just thank you. I can see how hard this is for you and this and this, but I really do appreciate the content you put out. You know what, Katlo, thank you so much for speaking about mental health. Katlo, I'm going through this, blah, blah, blah. Just yesterday, just yesterday, sometimes the comments or the DMs that you get are fun and they are... You know, you're laughing and it's a good time. Just yesterday, I got a DM from a lovely lady who said, not me walking into Top's Spa, it's a liquor store, Top Spa, and asking for Savannah Chimichanga. Like, she literally asked for Chimichanga. And then, apparently, she walked around looking for it and she couldn't find it anyway. And I cracked. I cracked. She literally made my morning. I saw that morning at 4 a.m., because that message at 4 a.m. because I'd just woken up and I cracked up. I was like, no, my darling, it's called Savannah Chili. <laughs> but because I call it Chimichanga, you see, it just feels like you're communicating with a friend. It feels fun. It feels light. It feels like there's a lot of love here. And for me, that is what is rewarding. The fact that I can help someone, they can also enjoy snippets and little bits of my life while I even keep certain things still private, very much private, like my family, my partner, and, and uh, my friendships, really. I don't show them as much on here. However, just knowing that I've got 30,000 plus friends who are sitting here, and I know I said that content creators are not your friends. I am aware of this, but this is my online friendship community, right? So to know that you guys are here, and you guys are loving me 
I'm loving you, bro. Like, it'd be like that sometimes. And this, for me, is what is rewarding. More than the paycheck. Because my paycheck, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, my paycheck is not the one. Okay, so I rely on you guys to help me out there by liking the video and getting campaigns and whatever. But if it's just based on YouTube, my, my paycheck is not the one, chat. Mm -mm. No. No. So, um, um, just for me, that's the most rewarding part. The most rewarding part is knowing that you guys are here and we have a chat and we laugh and, you know, candid with cats and, 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 and unpopular opinions. They're my favorite to film because I know that you guys are going to love it and I'm going to love how you react to it. Two last things. One, the online criticism as a content creator is wild. The online criticism as a content creator is nuts and this is something you need to prepare yourself for whether you're a smaller content creator whether you're going to start content creation next year and something you want to get into the online criticism is wild you will get dms some people will be even brazen enough to tell you in the comment space of your instagram picture or your instagram they will tell you straight up baby girl no ma'am Mm -mm. no ma'am no ma'am and it's hurtful it really isn't nice at all it really really sucks however you need to prepare yourself for that you have to prepare yourself for that over the years when you start it really hurts it really stings and all of this but over the years you develop a thick skin because you know that no one's gonna tell me about me and my personality and say that I'm an ugly person when I know what kind of person I am. You know what I'm saying? So it's things like that that you need to be just cognizant and aware of that the online criticism is wild. I've been insulted. My sister's been insulted. I've been called a skeleton. I've been called an enabler. Um, our mother's pictures were put online on like aside pictures of private parts and things like that. It's really hard. It's really, really hard. And it can make you literally switch the camera off and say, no more, mm -mm, no ma'am. And if you truly feel that way, then do it. Uh, your own mental health is very important. But just be aware that the bigger you get, the bigger you get, criticism will happen. It will, will happen. Okay? So prepare yourself for that as well. That's a huge challenge. And then lastly is for me in particular and content creators that are around my age especially in the demographic that we are in which is salda uh for me and the content that i create sometimes it's hard because you're competing with younger content creators right you're competing with people who are really good at tiktoks and short forms and whatever i'm not good with dancing okay i'm not good with dancing i'm not good with i'm, I'm I, I know i'm funny but i i i'm i don't think i'd be good with skits and things like that um and i prefer longer form content and right now short form content is the one that's is doing things baby girl okay so that's why i'm also trying to get myself into things like tiktok and 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 youtube shorts and things like that because i'm trying to I was going to say amalgamate myself. I'm trying to put a hand in um, both long form and short form content. But it's really, really hard when you're older in this space and you're sort of, because these people are your competitors, they're your colleagues, but they're also your competitors. Let's not lie, jokes aside. Um, it's hard to compete with people who are you know on the money doing short form content uh doing content that people in this particular demographic want to see um whereas my kind of content this side i don't think is um because when i look at my analytics and my stats my kind of content especially with specific videos not many people here would watch a certain video like on mental health or whatever but a larger portion of people overseas would be watching it and things like that so it's really hard you know your demographic um where you are in the world it's hard and trying to compete or be there within with uh younger people and all of that is hard um and that's something you need to consider because maybe you are my age or you're older or even younger whatever it may be just consider that it is a huge space filled with a lot of creatives a lot of creatives um people that are fantastic 
fantastic at what they do and you need to consider that going into the space you need to be authentically you because if you if if you don't and you are consistently consumed by oh my gosh, I have to do this, I have to focus, I have to do this, then it's not, it's not going to aid you in any way. You just need to be authentically you and believe in the gift that you have and believe in the people who watch you and believe that they believe in you and they want you to succeed. They're not watching you because they, they're jealous or whatever. There are people who do that, uh, hence why you'll never get a like because it's just like, mm -mm, mm -mm, what I will not do. But they subscribe to you that happens that happens jokes aside it does happen uh but majority of the people who are there for you are people who want to see you succeed um so yeah just i think that's pretty much it you know uh yeah i think that's it i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and good luck if you want to start content creation in 2023 and do it because no one Oh my gosh, I almost, said no, I almost said no one will do you like you do you. But it's true. Just don't read it in the other way, okay? No one will be as great at being you than you. So just believe in yourself, you know? Be your biggest hype man. And good luck to the future content creators and the ones who are still coming up. Good luck. All the best. I'm going to go. Thank you so much for choosing me over and over again. I'm going to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did give it a like let's try and see if we can get this video to over a thousand likes also retweet repost reshare because i put it up on all my platforms uh every time a, a video drops and i would love to see you guys watching it or retweeting reposting resharing i really do appreciate you guys so much thank you very very much and i'll see you guys in the next video until then sayonara